welcome back to Garden Ninja. Today I've been asked to do a product review of this. The Hater Osprey 46 4 stroke petrol powered lawnmower. Try saying that after a few drinks. So I'm going to show you this machine, the features and functions, technical spec, a bit of health and safety and the design of it. And then I'm going to give you a demonstration and give you my thoughts on the Hater Osprey 46. Let's get cracking. So a few quick facts about this Hater Mower Mower. So the first thing is it's got a 46 centimetre cutting diameter. It's also in this gorgeous racing green and it features this enamelled metal plate here and it really reminds me of kind of the 1940s race cars and I love that, I think it's great. And um, It's also got a royal warrant which means that Hater have supplied the royal household with their lawn mowers which is an incredible achievement. It looks lovely, the build quality seems fairly robust, it's got these sort of plasticky rubber wheels, maybe that's the only thing that lets it down, but we'll see as we do the review whether or not that's the case. Now this mower will mulch, it will cut and clip into this back or you can just discharge it onto the lawn, so it's called a 3-in-1. And it's also got auto drive, which means that rather than pushing and pulling and slogging away the lawn mower, it self drives, so once you pull the throttle, it will start to pull you at a speed of two miles an hour and then you're literally guiding it around the lawn whether you want stripes or a more informal look it's entirely up to you. So the Offspray 46 comes with a Briggs & Stratton four-stroke petrol engine which has high torque and is meant to be more efficient and quieter than a two-stroke engine. So I'm not going to take you through the exact specifics of how to set up a petrol lawn mower because there are nuances from different machines and different brands but you will need to check things like the spark plug, that the protective covers off it, you're using the right fuel, you've got the right oil, and you've followed all the safety guidance in the manual. I can't stress this enough, always double read the manual. But once you've set it up correctly, as I have, with all the necessary bits and bobs in place, and your protective gear's on, you're then good to get mowing. So you set your cutting height with this handy lever, so you can either bring it up to raise the mower up for a longer cut, or take it all the way down, if you're going to go for a really close cut and you usually use that if you're going to scarify or you've got a really fine ornamental lawn and you're mowing it sort of every week but for me I'm going to go even Stevens in the middle for this review. So once you've done all your safety checks and you've primed the engine you've got safety gear on you're good to go and the way to start the machine is by pulling this blade control bar forward and grabbing hold of this throttle cable Give it a swift tug. There we go. So I've just mowed roughly half of this ornamental lawn. So you can see it there with the stripes. Now I don't profess to be the best lawnsman, but stripes are usually a bit wobbly. Um, but the bag on the back, which is 55 litres, is only sort of two thirds full, which is great because usually that's the bit that takes the most time is emptying the bag. What I would say is that the, the height adjustment on the machine is probably a bit more generous to the longer cut than the shorter. So I've moved it down one because the middle point I still thought was quite long for a standard cut. So that's something to bear in mind. So I've actually nearly finished the lawn now. I've probably only got another two metres by two metres, but the bag is full. It's quite a sizable area, so that's a real benefit of this machine is that you're not frequently making tips to and from either your green bin or your compost bin. So I'm going to take off the clipping bag now, I'm going to put it in my composter, put it back on and finish this section up. So anyone that's seen any of my videos knows just how obsessed I am with mulching and the benefits it brings to your garden. Now with this hater lawnmower you can remove the back box and put this mulch plug in basically stops the cuttings from being fired into the bag and allows the blade to cut them up into even smaller particles and then it will just scatter them across the lawn as you go. So this is a really great feature if you've got a large lawn, you've not got a compost bin and you want to then mulch the clippings back onto the lawn. 
So check this out for a really handy feature of this mower. It's actually got an easy wash system. So if you just have a look in here at this green hose connector, you can see it says easy wash. All you do when you need to clean it is attach a hose and lightly flush through with water and it cleans the cylinder inside. I mean, that's just brilliant. I've never seen that before um, and I think that's fantastic. So I've finished mowing now and I really want to try out the easy wash system. So making sure that the engine is disconnected, you then attach a common garden hose, turn on the tap and then it should swirl water around the inside compartment of the blade and clean all those grass clippings off. So I've just finished mowing this lawn with the Hater Osprey 46 and here's my feedback. So you can tell that it's a really well made machine. It's got this beautiful green colouring, everything feels really robust, it starts quickly, it's really easy to use. However, I did raise my concerns about these wheels and I do still think that Hater are missing a trick in not putting metal caps on these or just making them look as high a quality as the rest of the machine. The other feedback is, as with all petrol mowers, it is quite heavy. And because the build quality is so high, I would say that this is heavier than most. So it can be quite tricky to maneuver around things like trees or wall edgings. So just bear that in mind. However, the fantastic self-drive on this machine is great. It's not too slow, not too fast, and it really does take the effort out of the weight of the machine. So all in all, I'd say this is a fantastic piece of kit for any residential garden. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more garden design how-to guides. I've been Garden Ninja, happy gardening.